Good, good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you? Fine, fine, teacher. And how was your day today? Oh, mm -hmm. it's, 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 it was a, a great my day. Yeah. Yeah. Gee, yes, yes. What about you, teacher? Good. I'm very good, Luis. What What do you do? You are Are you working right now, Luis? In the day, in your house? In or... my house. In my house, I finish uh, a little project, um, but in my house, I stay working. Uh -huh. Okay, all right. And and what is it that you do, Luis? Um, maybe in the last two years, I was uh, working on the social program and the areas of uh, the human resource. Mm. Uh -huh. Okay, okay. Uh -huh. And uh, you can and you can do that from your home. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. Uh -huh. Because uh, I am a independent professional. I I I can work here in my, in uh, my house. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Good. With or without pandemic, right? Uh -huh. Ah, that's nice. <laughs> that's yeah. that's very nice. Uh huh. Yeah, uh -huh. I I can only work in my house. Oh well, yes. In my case. I work in my house with or without pandemic also. Uh, okay. Because for example, the English Cooperativo, the classes, they were okay. on, they were online before yes, be, before course. the pandemic. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, okay. And do you work in a call center, teacher? No, no, no. Oh, okay. No, uh -huh. never uh -huh. work. Okay. I don't work in a call center, only in schools or in different places like that. Ah, okay. Are you teacher on full time? Yes, pretty much. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Good. I, um, I I I I uh, I do not only teaching, but some um, interpretations, translations, documents. Okay. Ah, okay. Uh, mm -hmm. uh -huh. thing, but everything with English, right? So. Uh huh. Uh huh. Okay. Good. Uh huh. Right. Excellent. All right. I see. We have several people, which is great. Ah. Uh, the last day of the week, I know many of you are already tired. You say, ah, oh, tomorrow is Friday. Tomorrow is Friday. Yeah, tomorrow is Friday. <laughs> Today is a, a little Friday. Today is a little Friday. <laughs> so, only, so that's why only a little class, huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, we got quite a few people. Um, Carla, how are you feeling? Are you feeling better today? Yes, I am feeling good. Thank okay. you. I'm glad. I'm glad. Are you taking any medicine or doing anything or? Yes. Yes. Anti-flu. Mm -hmm. And acetaminophen. Mm -hmm. And diclofenac. Only this. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. Everything but to help. I'm good. All right. I'm glad. Sounds mm -hmm. like it's working. Sounds like it's working then. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Ah, Thank you. Right. You're welcome. Well, we are going to go ahead and continue. Yesterday we were on 1.11. Um, we're going to go ahead and continue with that. We're going to finish that and begin part two today. The 1.11 was just the idea where we use the word when, if we remember. I like it when people give me gifts. I, I love it when uh, I have a surprise party. Do you remember that? From yesterday, the 1.11, we were. We, that's kind of where we finished off. Um, I'll show. I'll share my screen. So in case you have any questions about it, you can see. Okay. Here we have. Mm -hmm. If we look at it, we remember 1.11. This was the idea. The oh, uh, you know, we have some questions that we have three different forms, right? We have a positive form. We have a neutral form and we have a negative form. The, the neutral form is the one I'm going to clarify because the other ones, eh, it's usually pretty easy to understand what is positive and what is negative. But the neutral one is where here where it says it doesn't bother me. Okay. Right there. It says it doesn't bother me. This is neutral. That means okay. if you want to do, it's okay. If you don't want to do, it's okay or whatever. Okay. Mm -hmm. And the other neutral form is right underneath it. And it says, I don't mind, okay? I don't mind it when 
you know, people talk loudly on the phone, or I don't mind it when there's uh, loud music. Okay. Now, for some other people, maybe that's negative. Oh, it really makes me angry when people have loud music. Okay. That's okay. It's your opinion. Remember, these are what you do in those situations, what you like about those. Um, before we continue, I just want to remind you that these are very close together, but they're different expressions. This is one expression. I don't like it. And it bothers me is a different expression. Okay. The same thing here. It embarrasses me is one expression and it doesn't bother me is a different expression. It's not one, one together. Okay. The same here. It really upsets me and I don't mind it. They're different expressions, all of those. Okay. So we have two things that we're going to do in our groups. The first thing is we're going to complete this. Um, if you still or you and your partners weren't able to finish it yesterday, we're going to complete this first part, 1.11 in the knowledge check. And the second part is really a reading with our partners. We're going to take a moment. We're going to read this, The Amazing World of Apps, okay, which is probably a good idea. I'm going to take a picture right now um, and I'll put it into the WhatsApp group to make sure that everybody has it just in case, okay? Give me one second. I'll take a picture and I hope, I think everybody would be able to do that. I think that blocked it. Okay. Just a second. Okay. You should have it in your WhatsApp group as well. Okay. So one more time, we're going to do the first part, finishing up from yesterday, 1.11. The second part with your partners, we have that reading, listening, and then we have questions about the article. So the questions in 1.13 are about the reading in 1.11. Uh, sorry, 1.12. Okay? Okay. All right. Do we have any questions what we're going to do in our groups? We have two things, right? We have one point. 11 that we need to complete and then 1.13. But to do 1.13, you need to read the article on, on 1.12. Okay, if there are no questions then, let's make some um, of our, yes, yes, there's a question. Oh, teach. No? No. Oh. Okay, no. sorry. All right, perfect. Let's get to our partners then. Hi, Guillermo. Hi. Hello. Hello. Um, you finish the exercise, uh, one point eleven. Yeah. And you? I'm I'm doing right now. I'm doing it right now. Uh, I can help you help you if you want. Oh no no! So it's it's uh, just right uh, because yesterday we we do it <laughs> uh, with the open your platform. Saul. Sorry, sorry, Luis. Okay. Uh, do you do you has uh, uh, do you has a uh, uh, reading the text? Okay. Um, the exercise is uh, number uh, one point eleven knowledge check. Okay. Uh, the indication is how do you feel about this situation? 
write your own response based on the vocabulary given. Um, we have a different kinds of uh, statement. I love it. I can't stand it. I, it makes me happy. It bothers me, it's, and so on. I, I don't know. It's, it's, this is the, the, the indication. Um, I don't know if you uh, have opened your platform. Uh... Yeah. Okay. Because do you, uh, 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 do you do you? Aquí dice, mira, you may uh, use I love it. Ah, uh, okay, okay. Ya o sea, puedes puedes usar cualquiera, verdad? I love it. Well, sí, de ahí I todo lo demás. Ajá, correcto. Okay. Y asegúrate de poner siempre al final el punto. Sí, es yo cierto. No sé, yo no sé por qué eso. Tienen como eso ahí. Pero en este caso. Their mind. Aquí sería entonces. En la segunda siempre hay love. Eh, yo lo puse como I love. O sea, me gusta. Sí, me gusta. Me encanta. Uh -huh. Me encanta. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I don't... Voy a intentar con otra a ver si. Se puede. I love it when, when, when people call me late. Hi, teacher. Hey, how are you? I'm fine. Any questions? Everything is okay? It's okay, teacher. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Almost finished. Yes. And your next question. Give me one second, please. Okay. Sorry. Teacher, selection one answer? Uh, not necessarily. If you can see, it says, what are some common uses of the apps? The uses is in plural. So if you think oh. it's more than one, you click more than one. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. She checked three. Uh, she answered. I used three of. Ah, okay, three. Okay. Um, number two, at the time in which the article was written, what was true about the app Angry Birds? Okay. Um, it had been downloaded by more than. 50 million people. Um, I don't know, it's the first one. I think it's the first one. Uh, it began selling. Selling? It began selling. I don't know. Mm. Um, um, um. No. In, in a video, right? Uh, in a video read, one of the most popular apps, Angry Bird, as B, don't love, be more that uh, 50 mi million people. Mm -hmm. That's the first one. Yes. And then the Apple Store began selling apps. <laughs> Uh -huh. paragraph. Uh, one paragraph, uh, one and one, you and me? Yeah. Uh, uh, it's a video. Uh, um, yes, it's yeah. a video, but uh, we're gonna... We don't have to play. <laughs> video. Yeah. 
read the first and then the, me the second, you the third, and me the fourth. Okay, okay. As, um, let me see. I have problems with the <laughs> with the years. <laughs> So I gonna Why? Ah, try. <laughs> 2010 is 2010. It's because a teacher tells me it's like 2010. It's like yeah, the it, in the two forms is correct. I think 2010 is more easy. <laughs> in mm -hmm. 2010, the American Dialect Society chose up as the word of the year. App is short for application. It's a program for an electronic device like a smartphone or tablet computer. There are more, there are more than uh, 40,000. Yeah, 40,000. 40,025 million. Uh, a compliment. In, in this case, say complement. No es complemento, right? It's a compliment. Yes. Es como un cumplido okay. in this case. Correct. Right? Correct. Uh -huh. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Compliment on my clothes. On my clothes. On my clothes. Yeah. Clothes. Uh, teacher. Yes. Do you have uh, it's uh, clothes? The pronunciation. Yes, clothes. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Uh, I, I, teacher, I it's have. Only, uh, go ahead. I have doubt with a uh, compliment. Compliment is the similar a compliment, <laughs> but Com the pronunciation, right? The meaning I know is different. But... There are two different meanings for compliments. One of the compliments are for the one that they're talking about, which is like, oh, that's nice, or how pretty, or how beautiful. This is the compliment they're talking about. This is yeah. to be positive. And the other compliments are when you go to a restaurant and you have uh, meat, chicken, mm -hmm. fish, and then they say, oh, what would you like for your compliments? Rice, corn, vegetables. These are the compliments. The pronunciation yeah. is the same. The same, come yeah, from. the same pronunciation, only two different meanings. Uh huh, uh huh, yeah, okay. Uh, because uh, this word has a, a letter I compliment, compliments, mm -hmm. compliment. okay. Mm -hmm. Uh -huh. Mm -hmm. okay, thank you. Teacher. You're welcome, you're, you're welcome, Luis. You're right for the, for the writing, yes, with the I yes. versus the E, but for the pronunciation, it's the same. It's the same. Ah, yeah, right. okay. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. That's how you know the difference because for the pronunciation, compliments, compliments. Compliment, but the meaning is different, yeah. Yep, uh -huh. yeah, yep. Uh -huh. Okay, thank you, teacher. Of course. Okay. Saul, are you okay? Any other questions? Uh, yes, I, I write. Okay. It's okay. Mm -hmm. It's okay? Yes, it's okay. 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 Uh, juegos, ni necesitas tener internet eh, de inalámbrico, que es el Wi-Fi. Eso dice la primera parte. Ok, voy a leer la segunda. Uh -huh. Dice, most smartphones can hold hundreds of apps and you can use more than one app at the time. For instance, you can use a navigation app to find a new restaurant, a dining app to look at the restaurant menu, and a weather forecast app to decide what you what to wear to the restaurant all all, all at the same time. Dice Sorry, que la mayor Sorry I, I just wanted to, to pause you. Um, the, the pronunciation is only app. Ah, perdón, app. <laughs> mm -hmm. Sorry. No, no, no. It's good. It's good because I know that in Spanish, that's how people say it. The people, I've heard many people say, mm -hmm. ah, app, and I, I always wonder, mm -hmm. I always wonder, ah. why, but, but I, I, I see, I see why it, it is. It's because the spelling, they, they think is for letter by letter, but it's a word. It's not letter, it's not each letter. It's app. Yes. 
Mm -hmm. okay. okay, thank you, teacher. You're welcome, you. you're welcome. Okay, second part. One of the most popular apps, Angry Beards, has been... So good. I feel good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, veamos if one. Okay, next. Only is yeah. this. Ah, okay. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. Oímos este. ¿Qué tal este? ¿Lo oímos? Yeah. Hello, teacher. Hello. Hello. Hello, Hello teacher. How are you? <laughs> <laughs> good, good, good. I'm seeing that you guys are finished with the lesson one, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. right. Excellent, excellent. Go ahead, continue. Remember, that's okay. the that's the great thing about the platform. The platform is that you can advance. You, the other the other people are still in one point eleven or one point twelve, but if you advance, excellent. It's better for you. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Teacher. You're welcome. Wonderful. You. You're welcome. Okay. okay. For here. I need uh, experience. Uh -huh. I think pasantia it's important be because uh, the experience. Also, I can do a project for my graduation, but I prefer my the pasantia. <laughs> Internship. Good pronunciation. Uh, That's right. That's what it is. Internship. Internship. That's, okay. What are you studying, Jocelyn? Uh, informatic system engineering. Ah, uh, yes. Yeah, you really need an internship then. <laughs> yes. I, I think and I hope that I'm going to find a good company. Have you applied for internships? No, um, well, you, not do you, yet. <laughs> do you know how to apply for internships? Mm, no. No, they <laughs> they haven't shown you in the university? No, at the university, uh, companies, um, uh, how do you say proponent? Propose? Propose internships um, for some um, teachers or uh -huh, for some teachers and they tell us to us tell to us um the company or the the job or the internship is very complicated because sometimes you have to to find the companies other time the companies find the universities Mm. Well, there are a lot of internships available if you, depending on where you want to go. Um, they have internships uh, available. Um, what university do you go to, Jocelyn? I am in Unicas in Santa Ana. Unicas. Oh, oh, so the problem is to come to San Salvador, right? Yes, I know that my job is going to be in San Salvador. <laughs> so I think can move on there or stay here and start to travel to San Salvador every day. I don't know. Mm. But in my internship, I I think I'm going to travel because it's going to be like six months. Yeah, like six mm. months. Okay. Well, I, I know my previous students, they have done internships at other schools and institutions. For example, mm -hmm. you, can, you can offer internships, for example, for schools like uh, ITCA in, in Santa Tecla. I know they have one in Santa Ana. They, they, mm -hmm. re, they receive interns. You can offer for them. Banco Agricola has interns that uh, also support them. Uh, Banco Pro America has interns that also accept them. So is sometimes you need you need contacts and other times only you need to ask hey i am looking for internships uh, and and the banks or the places will accept the problem is that many places accept interns but not all the universities accept the places oh 
for example, yes. if you need if you need internship, I have I have friends that can that have businesses, for example, a call centers, and they need someone to help them in the interns for uh, for the, all of the networks for security for uh, I you are you are doing I, I can't remember engineering right yes. Okay, so then yeah, they, you need to set up routers and do all this, and they 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 love internships. They love interns. The problem is that not all the universities accept all the businesses. Mm -hmm. So the first is you need to go to your university and ask if there is a list or if there is a place of of accepted companies for the for the for the hours. If there is not, then ask for the list of what are the requirements from the company. And with that, you okay. can find- Okay, thank you. With those two things, you can find interns. Yeah, thank you because I, I didn't know about this. And I think my university has to, to almost to tell me this. Yeah, but many times they don't and you have to investigate. So that's why it's, you need to find out one of the two. Mm -hmm. If there is a, they, they call it providers in English, but in Spanish, I'm not sure uh, how they would rate it, but it's like, do they have accepted companies or accepted or organizations where you can do internships? And they, if they give you the list, then you go to those companies and say, hey, I am from here and can I do the internship here? Because mm -hmm. they are already accepted. And the other is if they do not have a list of interns, then internships, then what is the requirement? What does, for example, the company has to be more than 50 people or the company has to be less than uh, or has to be located in us or has to be mm -hmm. part of a, for example, I know depending on the university, some universities require the type of business. It cannot be in education, for example, that the, it has to be, for example, for financial or it has to be for a, uh, TV network or radio productions, or I mean, each university has their own uh, criteria. So you need to find this first. Sorry, Eduardo, for taking so much time. Just want to help <laughs> Jocelyn a little bit. Sorry, I apologize. You're welcome. Okay. You're welcome. Thank you. You're welcome. <clears throat> hey, Jose, are you? I thought you were having problems connecting. All right. Sorry about that, okay. Everything okay, Jose? Yeah, yeah. All right. So I think everybody was able to finish. Am I correct? Is there anybody that was not able to finish or any questions? Uh, Luis, did you have a, a, a question or a comment? You're on mute. Luis, you're on mute. No, teacher, uh, I don't have a, a question. Uh... Uh, I, 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 I finished that exercise, right? Excellent. You and your partners uh -huh. did a great job then, then you finished up. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay. Anybody With else? Saul. With Saul. Good. Uh -huh. Did anybody else have any questions or anything? Okay. Great. No, so the I'm okay good. good so then we can begin unit two now unit two is okay george no problem all right i see some people have some problems don't worry it's okay the important is that you are here and trying there we go so um we have a few things in unit two we're going to be looking at jobs careers professions we're going to learn the difference between a job and a career. And then we're going to learn the difference of personality types and how to describe those personalities. Okay. So the first part is, let's think about the idea of what I said, job versus career. What is the difference between a job and a career? Yeah. 
maybe uh, Joe is uh, 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 the, by the position or, or a, prof a profession or, or physical, maybe a physical position where someone work. Maybe a uh, career is uh, uh, when someone uh, begin in the company as uh, auxiliar and then uh, maybe um, overcome another position teacher, you know, a accountant and then it will be a manager. This is a career internal. Okay, all right. Anybody else? I think the career, yes. I think the career, career is when the people go to the university and they finish and the job is uh, not, no, probably the people know no go to the university, but job everything, <clears throat> job everything. Okay. Technical, I think. Okay, all right. Anybody else? Okay. Well, great, great ideas. And that's the main idea. The main idea is a job is something that you do to receive money, right? This is, it can be anything. It can be cleaning the floors, washing cars. It, it can be teaching. It could be uh, a doctor. This is your job, the, what you do to receive money. But the career is the path, the, the way that you're going to have. You can have a career uh, in medicine. You can have a career as an accountant or in accounting. Or you can have a career, it, it, people have careers in finance, right? It's, it's the line that you plan forever or the way that we like to think for long periods of time with education, right? That's the idea for that with your profession, okay? So the career, you can continue with the idea for working as a mechanic. That's going to be, maybe you are, uh, you are working in the shop. That's the job. But your career is, you are going to do this. And that could be in any area, okay? Now, the reason we talk about it is because just like the professions, uh, careers or jobs, each profession, each job has a different personality. For example, someone asked me earlier, I think it was Luis, if I had worked in a call, if I work in a call center. I said, no, that's a job. It's, it's fine. You, if you want to work in a job, if you want to work in a call center, you make money. You, it's okay. But it's not for me because you need a specific type of personality, right? The personalities are how you are as a person mentally, your emotional, these are the things that we're going to look at. Today, we're going to be looking at the idea of ba jobs um, based on personality. For this, we're going to be in 2.1, okay? So as you can see, uh, well, I don't know if you can see my screen just yet, but as you can see, in 2.1, personality types. And for each job, you need different types. Okay, now there they see social careers. Ah, what is that? That means all of the all of the jobs that involve social interactions pe with people like teaching, medicine, coaching, uh, you know, journalism, uh, advertise or ad advising, things like that. Okay, so we're going to watch a little bit of the video which is best jobs based on personalities. And then we're going to make sure that it's clear that the vocabulary and all of the things, the adjectives that they use are understood. Welcome to Matheson College. I'm Jamie Fitch. Some students arrive on campus with clear career ambitions, but most students need some help figuring out which field of study is right for them. The good news is, help is available. I'm here with Jacqueline Auden, a career advisor from the Career Services Department here on campus. Ms. Auden, you've advised a lot of students over the years about choosing a major and a career path. What should students consider? Well, Jamie, one of the first things to consider is your personality type. Well, along with your skills, abilities, and personal preferences, your personality type can guide you toward finding a major that best suits you. Okay. So how many personality types are there? Well, there are six basic personality types. Artistic, conventional, enterprising, 
investigative, realistic, and social. Now, the first type is artistic. These people are creative and imaginative, and they prefer to work on one project at a time rather than multitasking. What careers should artistic types pursue? The most important thing for this type of people is being in charge of a creative project. So careers to consider are landscaping, graphic design, web design. I see. The next personality type is conventional. Tell us about that one. Yes, conventional types are practical and orderly. They respond well to rules, procedures, schedules, things like that. What types of careers do conventional type people usually enjoy? Conventional types often enjoy numbers, and they're also good with measuring and analyzing things in general. So often they tend to be bankers, lawyers, building inspectors, and technical writers. Are they good business people? Sure, they can be. They usually work for others. The next type, enterprising people, those are the business owners. Ah, the enterprising type. What characteristics do those people share? They tend to be leaders. They're independent and willing to take risks. They're good at motivating people, so we often find them in sales. Really? Hmm. What careers do they enjoy, aside from sales? Well, they're good at directing projects and people, so they make good managers. Okay, so that's three types. Let's take a look at the fourth type, investigative. Well, this type of person prefers logic to imagination and tends to be precise and detailed. So, Jamie, what are some careers that you think would suit this type of person? Hmm. Science would probably be appealing. You're right. Uncovering mysteries is key to any type of science, but librarians are also the investigative type. Really, any career that involves research fits into this category. So that brings us up to the fifth type, realistic. Yes, realistic types like to work with their hands, with tools. They want to see the results of their work in physical terms. Hmm. That sounds like repair people to me. Yes, that's right. Also jewelry makers, builders, and engineers. So now for the sixth personality type, which is the one that describes me best. Yes, I think you're right. <laughs> the last type is social. Social types like people. Their jobs usually involve helping and communicating with others. Oh, but teaching would appeal to social types. Oh, yes. Medicine, coaching, broadcast journalism, and, of course, career advising. That's us, social types. Ms. Auden, thank you for sharing this information with us. It was my pleasure, Jamie. Well, we hope this information has been helpful to you. If you'd like to learn more, visit the Career Services Department and tell them Jamie sent you. Okay, so as you can see, there are several different types of careers and that match with different personality types. Why is that important? Well, it's important because we're going to be using those words to describe people, to describe different things and what job we consider them to need or that they should have. So for this part with our partners is we're going to think about jobs and we're going to think about ourselves. So for example, Luis, if you were not doing your job, what other job do you think you would do based on your personality? Luis can say, for example, well, I think I am a creative type. So for me, I would like to be doing this, this and this, right? Okay. Or um, Eduardo can say, well, I am really a, a social person and I would prefer to be doing this, although I am also investigative. So I think maybe between this and this jobs I would like. Okay. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to take just, it's just going to be a few minutes. It's going to be about five minutes with our partners. And we're just going to take a look at what jobs do we consider or what would you consider having if you did not have the job that you have right now, right?
still having problems, huh, Jose? Really? <laughs> sometimes, sometimes I get trabado <laughs> my work. Um, what, uh, what personality you think you are? I don't know. I'm different personalities. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking that because I have artistic, I think, but realistic uh, too uh, mm. um social social no no <laughs> um i think why not realistic social is not like i i don't hate but i'm really bad with interaction with the other people but you were i know how do you say sacarme platica you you <laughs> you because you're not looking me, I am not looking you. It's more easy. <laughs> well, I, I didn't have idea you you were because I was quiet. When uh, well, I'm quiet. Uh, <laughs> maybe like all the time, but I don't know. Uh, then you sarcastic platica, <laughs> and I uh, give the 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 talk. It's more easy in the phone, I think. In class, a uh, presential class, it's like mm -hmm. I am in the in the in the fondo. <laughs> in the deep. Deep. No, but, uh -huh. but it's a... I, I don't know. In my case, for example, um, um maybe uh, I I I I match with uh ent entre enterprising enterprising because i am an independent professional right maybe i, are, I like it uh, are uh, you enterprise luis enterprising aha uh aha -huh. uh -huh. uh -huh. what's your what is your business ah, okay <laughs> yeah and uh, uh, maybe uh it's frequently to work uh, and uh social program yeah, uh, I, am, social. I have social program. Uh, for example, in the, in the last year, I was uh, working uh, in entrepreneurship entrepreneurship uh, program, right? I was uh, training uh, people. Uh, Technology system okay. in computers. Mm -hmm. Excellent, excellent. But, but I work in in a bank. And in financial, what? in bank, ah, in okay. financial in, uh, enterprise, um, I'm work with um, account, uh, um, account, I'm um, business account. Okay. And I I have um, experience in. Hello, Jose. Hello. I Hello, think, teacher. Hey, Leah. I think Jose has problems. I, That's why he couldn't join you. Okay. I was alone. Uh huh. Yes, he, he had problems connecting. Mm -hmm. ah, okay. That's why. Okay. Sorry about that. All right. So I think. I talk in you talking? It's okay. Okay. With me, with me, misma. <laughs> with yourself. <laughs> no problem. All right. 
well, here we're looking at the, we understand our concepts of what we're talking about right now, uh, personalities, jobs, professions, okay? And now we're gonna be taking a look at what is considered the grammar part. The grammar part is the gerund. So today we're gonna be looking at what we see are called gerunds. Does anybody know what are gerunds? Have you ever heard of this before? This word gerund? Yes. Yeah. What's another, what's what's an easy way to remember gerunds? It's a verb plus ing. Excellent. <laughs> yeah, that's it, Carla. That's, that's the easiest way to remember it. It's because there's a big explanation. For example, a verb, a gerund can be the subject of a sentence. It is always singular. Use a third person singular mm -hmm. verb after gerund. But really what we're saying is the verb with ing at the beginning. That's the idea. That's the idea for our gerunds. So we always have the activity, the action, and then we decide uh, or we talk more about it. For example, voting is an important responsibility. Choosing the candidate takes time. Swimming is a fun sport. It's just a verb at the beginning. And then when we talk about it, okay? That's the idea. We're gonna watch a small video just to make sure that we have an idea and some examples, and then we'll talk about it. Welcome to this class. In this class, what we want to do is we want to practice gerund phrases. And so we're going to learn how gerunds are used as subjects and also how they're used as objects. And uh, you might have seen and you might be a little bit confused about this whole deal here. So, for example, whenever you see, uh, like at hotels, you see no smoking, uh, no parking, all that. You might think that that is wrong, but actually it's not. And then we're going to try to make sense of all of that here. Um, and then, so let me give you an example on how this is used. So we're going to talk a little bit about politics uh, a little bit. Uh, not going into details, of course, but just some general things about it. Uh, so running for office. Well, look at a couple of sentences here and then uh, just uh, see some common things that politicians say whenever they're running for office. Well, and the, the first thing is voting is an important responsibility. Um, improving our schools, fighting for a new hospital, etc. So let me quickly outline that this is a gerund. So a gerund is simply a verb which uh, you um, add ing to, all right? And then, uh, of course, there's some spelling things about it that you might have learned in previous classes. But here are some examples on how gerunds are, are used either as subjects of sentences. So for example, voting is an important responsibility. Voting is the subject of our sentence. So it's not acting as a verb. Let's discuss improving our school. So as you can see there, we're using that as an object. And so let's try to make sense of all of this. A couple of more examples. Choosing a candidate takes time. And um, let me point out um, the gerunds here. So choosing a candidate, that's, that's the subject of our sentence. I enjoy working for the people. Okay, that's uh, working in that case is not acting as a verb, it's acting as the object of our sentence. Uh, do you resent paying higher taxes? Again, paying is not the verb, it's, it's, it's the gerund that is being used um, as, a, as an object there. So now that I gave a few examples on how gerunds are used as subjects and how they're used as objects, I would like to go into details now and talk a little bit about the usage of gerunds. And the first thing that I'm going to mention is that uh, in this case, in this lesson, we're using gerunds as nouns. So we're using them as people, places, or things. And so we're familiar with the verb work, for example. And if we include ing, then we turn that into a gerund, right? But now we're going to use this gerund as either a subject of a sentence or as the object of, a, of the sentence. And that's what we're going to learn. So let's take a look at the, another gerund. So for example, the verb they, I'm sorry, the verb pay, we turn that into a gerund by simply adding ing. And then we have paying, improve. And of course, there are some spelling things that you should have learned in previous classes. Uh, and uh, we remove that E, for example, and then we add ING, and so we have improving. Let's go into some details now, and let's talk a little bit about gerunds. 
and particularly gerunds being used as subject of sentences. So on the screen right now, we can see that a gerund can be the subject of a sentence. And a couple of grammar rules to learn is that it is always going to be singular. It's always going to act as a third person. And so let's look at that. Voting is an important responsibility. Choosing a candidate takes time. And as you can see, those are subjects of sentences. And of the idea here is that this is going to be singular. So we're always going to have a singular verb. Like in this case, voting is an important responsibility. We could say voting was or voting will be. But the idea is that it's going to be singular. And then the other example, choosing a candidate takes time. Again, choosing becomes the subject of our sentence. And so it becomes a thing, not necessarily um, a verb. Um, and then, of course, we need to follow that grammatical rule that we need to add S to that verb. When talking about this topic, it's important not to confuse the gerunds with the present progressive. So let me give you an example about that. If I express, I'm voting today, uh, really what I'm saying is that it's an action that is happening today. right? It, it could be in the future, by the way, as well, but I'll, I'll talk about that later. Um, and on the other hand, voting is an important responsibility. So in that particular case, I'm using that as a present progressive form. On the other hand, I'm using that as a gerund. So I'm using that as the object of my sentence. And so there, it's a verb. And the second example, it's, a, it's the subject of a sentence. And so let me just give you a quick example of what I want you to do. So what is exciting for you? Well, windsurfing is exciting. Windsurfing is very exciting. Playing soccer is exciting. Going to the movies is exciting. So all of those expressions that you've heard in the past, and they don't quite make that much sense, they should make a lot more sense now. And so what I would like for you to do is to take that concept then and Tell me what makes you laugh, what gives you a headache, what is impolite, what is popular in your country, what destroys the environment, and what uh, can be dangerous. All right, teacher, let me try the first one. For me, watching comedy movies makes me laugh. Okay, let me pause right there so that we can get the idea. So really what we see is that we start off with the action at the beginning right or the negative form and then we talk about it whatever it does so uh, they give windsurfing is very exciting okay and then they have one through six those six statements i'm going to take a picture and put it into our whatsapp group and we're going to try to practice saying them and completing them with whatever your ideas are okay so hang on Oh, maybe I have the wrong one. Pre advanced two, one. Okay, maybe I had. Okay, I'll send it in a moment because I think I was removed from one of them. I don't get it, but I'll look at it. So the idea is we're looking at these, and the gerund is just using the verb at the beginning. So for example, um, you can't say f uh, funny movies makes me laugh. No, because we're not talking about nouns. We're talking about action. Okay. So you can say falling people or, uh, you know, uh, 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 playing, uh, I don't know, uh, playing Scrabble makes me laugh, whatever it is that you want. But all of those things have to do with the action, and then you have the complement. That's going to be the idea of the gerund. Okay. Now, how do you know the difference? Uh, in the video, they were talking about the difference between a gerund and the present progressive. Really, it has to do with the, the position. If there is a present progressive, it's going to have the verb to be, right? I am watching TV. He is playing soccer. They are the different things. That's the idea. If it's not with uh, the verb to be, then if it's before the verb to be, for example, uh, like uh, watching TV is fun or uh, reading a book is relaxing, 
ah, then it's going to be considered the gerund. So after the verb to be, present progressive. Before the verb to be, the gerund. Does it matter? No, it's only important for just to have some knowledge about it. But really the function is take the verb, take the action and describe it, okay? So for example, for me, cooking, this is the action. Ah, but now I'm going to talk about it. Cooking is very enjoyable. Cooking is fun, okay? Cooking is relaxing, whatever I think, okay? So let's try together as an example. Each person say one thing, one action, and then whatever you want, whatever compliment you want about it. Let's begin with Eduardo. Eduardo, you ready? Okay. Okay. Um, in my reading book, in, in my, my book, reading See, I, I, I'm sorry, Eduardo. I don't understand the first word that you said. See, a uh, thing, uh, read, book, a uh, reading. So, for example, it's like uh, reading books and then your compliment. Reading books is, uh, is nice or reading books is relaxing or reading books is is something I like to do at night. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Do you, th you think of another one? Do you think of another one? We're, go we're going back. Luis, can you give us an example? Okay. Uh, working as a manager in the company, I, I maybe I, I will uh, a good salary. Okay. Okay. So working as a manager, it, you earn a good salary. Uh -huh. Okay, that's fine. You begin and then the compliment. Excellent. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. Would anybody else like to try? Would somebody else like to give a, another example to see if they understand? <laughs> no, but Monday? Hey, teacher, I don't remember. I don't remember. <laughs> uh-huh. But today, no, huh? Jocelyn, do you want to try? Um, praying gives me peace. Ah, exactly. Praying gives me peace. Good. Good. That's an idea. Mm -hmm. Anybody else? Running makes me happy. Okay. Running makes me happy. Mm hmm If you need some help, it's right there. So for example, for me, working on the computer for many hours gives me a headache. Cream. Oh, sorry, uh, sorry, sorry. Yes. Is cream another, is cream in, in the office, it isn't polite. Maybe. Very good, very good. Screaming in the office isn't polite. Good. Going to the cinema is popular in my country. Very nice, okay. Very nice, good. Okay, well, in that case, we're going to pause there so we have an idea Remember to work in the platform. The platform should be complete, complete. Uh, unit one should already be complete. So if it is not complete over the weekend, you need to work on it. And if you have time, advance a little bit with unit two. That way it's not so difficult for you next week. Okay? Okay. Okay. All right, okay. All right guys, have a good night. I see you on Monday. Okay, okay, teacher. See you, see you Monday. Bye-bye. 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 You too. Bye-bye.